What's up everybody, Lord Metal Blade here, and welcome back to an album review. It's been a long time since I made one. I know it's been a few years actually. It's just that I've been super busy, you know, working and things like that, but I'm finally back making more album reviews, and we got a good one today. It's the 10th anniversary of An Overdose of Death by Toxic Holocaust. Now, for those of you who don't know who Toxic Holocaust are, they are a black metal influenced thrash metal band out of Portland, Oregon. I believe people say they're black metal influenced, but anyway, this album is the follow-up to their 2005 album, War and Hell, I believe the name of that album is, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, I know it's been a long, long time since my last album review, but I've started making Let's Plays on my channel, so be on the lookout for that, so anyway, to the review, I bought this album a while back, I think back in 2011 or so. That was my first exposure to this band because I saw their band logo and I bought it and I started listening to the album and I was very blown away by it. I mean, just Joel Grind's vocals on this record just sounded insane hearing it for the first time. I was just blown away by his vocals. The riffing on this album, definitely, definitely killer. I mean, it's definitely got that punk influence. It's got... I would say black metal influence, I would say, maybe, but definitely that thrash element, because it's just, each song you listen to, I mean, uh, Wild Dogs, uh, Nuke the Cross, Endless Armageddon, this, the songs on that, on that album are endless, they're just great, great songs, I mean, this album is probably my favorite Toxic Holocaust record, I mean, the work on this rec on this record is just absolutely flawless. And I wanted to make a review on it because it's the 10th anniversary of this album. came back in 2008. I'm not familiar with the month. But anyway, I mean, listening to this album the first time, it was just a completely new experience for me. Because, you know, you got New Age Thrash Bands. You got Warbringer, Toxic Hollow, uh, excuse me, Havoc, Municipal Waste, uh, Suicidal Angels, bands like that. But then when you listen to Toxic Holocaust... It's just completely different. The vocals are more raspy, very fast riffs, the drumming. The drumming is just, you know, it's just right there. And then, um, it's just, a lot of songs on this record, they're not very long, which is, you know, completely fine. I believe War Game is like a minute, no less, but it's still great. Um, the Longest Time... Growing up, uh, listening to the record, I seriously thought when it goes from Future Shock, I thought Future Shock and War Game were combined. Because when it hits that opening riff of War Game, I seriously thought it was a continuation to Endless Armageddon. First time listening. First time listening to the song, I seriously thought that. But as time went on, I realized that it was a completely different track. It's fast. It's heavy. It's not that long of a song. It's perfect. I mean... My second favorite song off this record, Future Shock being the number one, my second favorite would have to be In the Name of Science. I mean, they just sing about nuclear death. Uh, hmm, nuclear death. wonder what that, what band that reminds me of. Anyway, <laughs> this album definitely needs to be on a tour. They need to tour and play this album in its entirety. I'm not the biggest Toxic Holocaust fan. I love their work. I mean, Conjure and, Conjure and Command is definitely a best second for me. But honestly, this album right here, they need to play it live on a tour or just a show. I seriously would love, just love to hear that album live. It's probably, I would give this album a nice 8.5 out of 10. It's that good. I mean, not a perfect 10, but an 8.5 out of 10. It's just the riffing, the drumming. The lyrics, Joel's vocals, the guitar, the drumming, the solos on this album. I mean, they're so fast, they're heavy. I just, I love them. I love this album. I cannot get enough of it. It's seriously, like, I'll listen to it in my room when I go out, when I'm driving, like, to work or things like that. I'll always have this album with me. It's, honestly, I would put this album in my top 10. I would put this album in my top 10 favorite albums of all time. It's really... It's really recommended if you're a fan of bands like Venom, Slayer, uh, I would say 
early Cannibal Corpse because they have that death metal vibe. But this album is definitely recommended to thrashers. I mean, it's definitely got, I could say that black metal influence just because of Joel's vocals. They have a punk influence because they have that fast, you know, fast punk drum beat and thrash drum beat combined. It's, I really wouldn't consider them crossover because they're not really trying to be hardcore or anything like that. But yeah, Toxic Holocaust, if you ever watch this, take this album out on tour. Play it fully live. I mean, seriously, I would love that. I would pay to see that. I'd pay to see you guys in general because that's one band I'd really love to see. There needs to be a tour with Warbringer, Havoc, Municipal Waste, and Toxic Holocaust. People would consider them maybe the big four of New Age Thrash, maybe. I mean, bands like them continuing the thrash, I mean, you've got, of course, you have the big 80s bands and others like that, but bands like them keep that thrash flag going as well. Not just the oldies. I, as much as I love the oldies, the newbies, just... I seriously can't think of anything else to say about this record. I mean, it's great. If you haven't purchased this album, go out and buy it. I highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed. You know, people may like it, people may not like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. But I definitely, definitely do want to make more album reviews. You know, combining my two favorite things, if you've seen in my live stream, combining gaming let's plays and album reviews and things like that, thinking about calling the series Lord Metal Reviews. Let me know in the comments if that ri if that rolls rolls off the tongue. If not, let me know. Anyway, definitely be on the lookout for more album reviews for me. Be on the lookout for more Let's Plays if you are interested in that. Hit that like button. Hit, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Lord Metal Blade, and I will see you all later.